What's up, everybody? This is Ashton Bingham from Muse Themes, here to show you our Code Ignite theme. This is a pretty slick theme, and while the project file in Canvas is kind of more suited for a more minimal amount of content, the layouts and scroll effects really pack a punch and are great for showing off any site with a lot of visuals. Especially any sites with a futuristic or technology-based kind of theme, which this site is themed after. So on our live demo here, we start with this really eye-popping hero image, full width, with some awesome parallax scrolling going on. It really gives the site kind of a 3D effect, as the photo is moving at a different pace than the rest of the content. Also, as we start scrolling, we get this neat kind of sticky header bar that appears, leaving our navigation in view no matter where we scroll, which is a neat feature for one-page sites like this one. Coming down to this app development section, we get this really awesome effect with the phone graphic, kind of sliding its way into view as you scroll into place. And this is a really creative way of using scrolling effects in Muse, and we'll get back to that in a minute. Now if I click our About link on the menu, we get moved smoothly to another cool full width image with some calls to action here that you can fully customize, as well as a canvas here for you to place some team member photos or however you want to utilize it. It's also designed as a composition, so we have this rollover tooltip available here for some extra info. Clicking to Projects just a little bit down, we get a nice thumbnail gallery here, which prompts a light box upon clicking, which you can also sort through down here. And lastly, followed by a simple Twitter feed widget, as well as a full width embedded map that's fully interactive and a contact form. So let's dive into Muse and we'll check this out a little bit closer. I'm going to skip the master page, as you'll notice there's no content inside. Since this is a single page scrolling site by default, there wasn't any need to embed content from a master page. So I'm just going to dive right into the home page. Now let's start with our logo and menu here in the header. I can select our logo and then we can jump over to our scroll effects panel. Our first tab here inside is our motion effects, to which we can see one is enabled on this logo. And if you've worked with scroll effects before, you know that this middle field with the pixels is our key position, acting kind of as a trigger of sorts. And the initial motion is what occurs before that key position hits the top of the browser, and the final motion is what occurs after. So right now we can see our keyframe position is set to 43 pixels from the top, which you can also see shown by this little extension sitting above the logo when it's selected. So as this is set now, the logo will move up as well as to the left upon initial scrolling. It's set to a value of 1, which means basically 100% or normal speed. And then once that keyframe hits the top of the browser, we have a final motion set to 0 in all directions so it should be locked in place from there on out. So looking back to our live preview, we can see that as we scroll, we get exactly as what's expected. We first get an upward motion, as well as a left motion occurring, just right up until we get 43 pixels down the page, and then the logo stays put for the rest of the site's depth. Now back into Muse, we can see an almost identical setting applied to the menu as well. However, looking inside our scroll effects panel, we have an upward and a right motion applied. So it's mirrored. So the menu and logo are basically separating evenly, and it looks pretty cool. And the last element for this navigation bar is our black header bar. Now this one's a little bit trickier because it's not visible right now on our workflow, but it is here. I can move my mouse on the header of the page, and we see a clear rectangle is selectable here. And it's clear because there is an opacity scroll effect applied. Into our scroll effects panel, we can go to our second tab for opacity effects. And this one works the same way. We have a key position at 45 pixels. Up here, we're beginning with an opacity of zero or invisible and staying that way all the way until our key position hits. And then from there, we gradually fade to 100% opacity all the way down to 185 pixels. And I'll also note that there is a motion effect applied here as well, but everything is set to zero movement, which is what's keeping it pinned to the top of the page at all times. Now you could accomplish the same thing there by using your own pinning settings up here and giving it a centered top pin. So on that note, let's scroll down a bit and I want to show our phone graphic here, as this one has a little bit of a unique setup with scroll effects. If I select the image, and we'll go into our scroll effects panel again, we have a key position of all the way down at 908 pixels because it's sitting much further down on the page. And again, you can always see and adjust the key position here as well. Now we have a downward motion of 30% for the initial, and an upward motion of 100% as the final. 
So back to our live demo, as I'm scrolling down, bringing the phone into view, you can see that as the page is moving up, the phone is dropping at a much slower speed, right up until it hits its key position, and then it continues with the matching upward speed for the rest of the site. Now back into Muse, a couple more things I want to point out. Many of the full width imagery on this theme have scroll effects as well, such as this laptop photo here. Now when using scroll effects that apply to an image fill, you can actually adjust those up here in your fill menu. Just click the word fill with the rectangle selected and click over to the scroll tab. Same effects and settings apply here, which give it that really cool 3D feel. This image in particular has all motion set to zero, which is why on our live demo, the whole site scrolls over that image while the image stays perfectly still. It's a really neat effect, I think. Now down here on our development team section, we have a composition set and ready to fill with images. And you can select the composition and click the blue icon to open the settings panel and click show lightbox parts while editing to expand the tooltips. And by selecting each trigger, you can customize the content within those tooltips here. Now down here for projects, same function as the composition in the sense that you just expand the settings panel and click show lightbox parts while editing to expand the content. And you can adjust all the colors and icon placements within here as well. Now the very last thing I wanna mention about this theme is regarding the page navigation once again. Now you may have noticed the page anchors placed as we were scrolling down. This is one here called Portfolio. These anchors are what the menu is hyperlinking to to allow the page to scroll to these places when clicked. Now you can always create more anchors using the function here on your left toolbar. And back on the top, if I open the settings panel for my menu, you can see that the menu type is set to manual. That's how we're able to assign a custom hyperlink to each button instead of having the menu reflect the page layout automatically. So just keep that in mind in case you add new anchors or even pages that the menu has to be customized manually for that navigation to take effect. So that's Code Ignite. We hope that this provides an awesome starting point to be really creative and have fun with for a site of this type. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, always feel free to reach out to us and support and we'd be more than happy to assist. Cheers.